Hello, my name is Chnidum Stanley Aburike, one of the trust grade doctors at the Leicester Royal Infirmary. Hello, my name is Alejandro. My name is Lina. Hello, my name is Basir. Hi, I'm Parna Sarsadeh. Hello, my name is Mohammed and I'm a doctor. Hello, my name is Janina Marinescu. I'm coming from Romania. I'm working in Leicester Royal Infirmary as a GP in a and &E. Hello, my name is Jalaj. Hello, my name is Sana. Hello, my name is Amir Shaheel. I'm working as an emergency physician in Leicester Royal Infirmary from last year. Hello. Hello, my name is Shima Majin. Hello, my name is Shito. Hello, my name is Dr. Ramesh Senitambi. I'm enjoying working in the ED. Thank you. My experience at Leicester Royal Infirmary has been wonderful. It was difficult for me because this is my first NHS job and I was actually a bit scared to start off. But the work atmosphere, the seniors, the colleagues are all wonderful. They help you, they guide you in the best possible way. I'm learning and that's exactly what I wanted and I'm progressing as a better doctor and we're helping the patients in a better way and that's the aim of it. Well, the biggest positive is obviously starting in a new country on a new system that you're unfamiliar with. For example, all the clinical CBD staffs, the revalidation and the appraisal scenarios which people are, have never had that done before in their own countries. Initially, I think uh, I was just trying to get by on the shop floor in my clinical duties but within a month or two I was more than comfortable with the shop floor what was expected of me clinically speaking and how this hospital can actually help me uh, develop in other ways having a clinical supervisor where a consultant has been uh, regularly in touch with you with monthly meetings getting updated with what you want to do uh, developing a personal development plan uh, see what you want to do in the next couple of months is very helpful is what I found very helpful as well in this uh, hospital being an international medical graduate, uh, starting a new job for anybody can be quite daunting. We generally tend to spend a lot of time giving our exams before we actually come into a new job. So people usually spend about three to six months not being in on any clinical duties. So going from uh, zero to a hundred, for example, being in an emergency department from uh, in just a day is very difficult. But this department has helped us a lot. I believe every hospital just has a week or two of induction period just to make you familiar with the systems but a three month induction period where you're supernumerary and you get extra support in terms of seniors and your peers and your colleagues uh, to help you with your daily things, simple things like uh, clinical questions or just finding where the blood bottles are. We do have our own special uh, international medical aid, um, uh, international uh, doctors uh, teaching program going on which is a monthly thing that Dr. J. Panerjee does with us in the department. There is no discrimination between this being a teaching program for the trainees or this being a teaching program for the non-trainees. So everybody is given equal opportunities. You're not exactly thrown into the deep end where you're left to fend on your own. The senior support that we have sort of makes it easy for you to move into this job, get accustomed to the systems. I've definitely been trying to get a couple of my friends over to join this hospital uh, as soon as possible because I found this a very easy way to get used to practicing in the UK. I'm a consultant in this department. I came here in 2009. I went away to, to work abroad. I came back here last year. The department's really changed. We've got a lot more staff working for us. We've got more international doctors. They've filled in key roles in our department. The department is safer because of the contribution they make and them being here is largely part down to Rachel's work and the work she's done in recruiting them to work in our department. I think from my point of view, one of the most amazing things I've seen is I've interviewed with Rachel, uh, some international doctors, and even when, for whatever reason, we're not able to appoint them to a position, the way we handle that situation is exemplary. We give them a whole assessment, we give them a appraisal as to their chances, what they need to do, whether they need to go on an attachment or do some courses or do some more reading or some more interview practice. It really gives them a whole package, a whole plan as to how they can develop their careers so that they can get into the job market of this UK, in the UK and, and, make a, and make a positive contribution to the NHS here. Hi, my name is Pro Mukherjee. I'm a consultant in the emergency department at the Leicester Royal Infirmary. We've been doing a lot of stuff around compassion and a lot of people talk about compassion but this is what I feel compassion in practice looks like. The way we are looking after, working with, developing people from all over the world in our emergency department. I work as a specialty doctor in emergency medicine at Leicester Island Infirmary. Apart from my clinical work, I also involve in GP recruitment in emergency department. Over the past few years, 
uh, I have involved in uh, helping out with the consultants who are supporting international medical graduates to pursue their career in general practice. I have seen quite a few international medical graduates joining our team. I'm proud to say that current year we have four international medical graduates who have been absorbed into general practice. When we spoke to the trust grades from the, in the ED department, the, the buddy scheme was really quite key. The being supernumerary was key. There, there was the, the, the level of support that was wrapped around um, was clearly um, a major plus and clearly why you get a good reputation in terms of uh, recruitment within ED. ED had this continuous uh, recruitment process and they had continuous advertisement and um, periodic interviews. But then we implemented monthly interview based on continuous uh, advertisement. And at this point, we don't have any vacancies at all. This is started at ED and we adopted and it is working well for us.